Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how to create these hypnotic chevron nails. I really like this design and I hope you will too. And I have no idea why I named it hypnotic. I think because it just looks like one of those black and white swirls that you see that makes you dizzy. But anyways, thanks for clicking this tutorial to watch it and yeah. First apply a base That's coat and then paint all of your nails two coats of any color of your choice. I chose a turquoise blue and after this I'm going to wait for it to dry. This is optional, but I applied a coat of glitter nail polish and I forgot to record it, but I just applied a coat of that. And now taking a black nail polish, you're going to create a triangle at the beginning of your nail, so near the cuticles. So create a pretty big triangle and this is what it should look like. I'm just using an old striper and I cleaned it off and now I'm dipping it into the black nail polish and then go ahead and fill in the rest of the triangle with the black and then do this to every nail and or just the accent nail which is like the ring finger if you want to and then wait for it to dry a little bit next take a silver nail polish with a striper and you're going to create another triangle, but this time you're going to create this smaller, leaving a black outline. So just go ahead and do this, and then go ahead and fill in the rest of the silver triangle. You could leave it like this, but I decided to go a step further and add one more triangle using black and this one is going to be the tiniest one so you're just going to do this and this is why I decided to call it hypnotic chevron nails because I've seen several I've seen chevron nail designs and I just decided to do it like this because I thought it looked like one of those black and white swirls for some reason it just looks hypnotic to me I have no idea why and I'm just blabbering but anyways you're just going to do this and then wait for all of your nails to completely dry. Finally, apply a favorite top coat to protect your design from chipping away. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, or rate. If you have requests or any questions for me, just leave them in the comments. Don't forget to follow me on all my social networks. The links will be in the description box. Thanks for watching. And by the way, if you want to try this out and you do try this out, please send me a picture to my Instagram or Twitter or one of those by using the hashtag 13 girl so I can see your recreations of this. So yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.